and welcome back to Silly Weekends. I'm Kat and today we are continuing on with Made in Abyss episode 5. Thank you, thank you so much for being patient and continuing to support this channel. Getting to watch anime for and with you guys is just a great de-stressor. <laughs> I look forward to it all the time. Um, a quick recap with Made in Abyss. Rag and Rico, they're able to go through layer one of the abyss. They did meet Habo and you see a little glimpse of how Habo is involved in Rico's life. It seems like he's like, you know, like an uncle figure. I forgot the teacher's name. I know he is the guardian of Rico. All of the commenters that infoed me on these characters, they're giving her the chance to go into the abyss to look for the mom, but if things get too dire, they're hoping for her to come back. But yeah, these kids have gone through training and are pretty knowledgeable already of all of the grim expectations to have when venturing out into the abyss. They've gone through layer 1 and I think episode 4 ended with them now entering layer 2 and then you see this, this huge bird, totally different art style from what you've seen in their world which is again really cool and now you know that you have entered into this area where things will possibly be like completely different maybe not completely but like you're gonna start seeing stages of out of the norm things so I'm super excited with that and yeah let's get right into it so let's continue on with episode 5 of Made in the Abyss Oh my gosh. <laughs> Aww, thank you. Thank you so much. Say hi. Hi. Ooh, there's that bird again. Good drink, good anime. Oh, great weekend. <laughs> I'm glad I'm seeing like the awareness of Rig and what to watch out for is because that's what I was afraid that was gonna be missing in this in this type of team. You know, like a level headed person. Oh nice. I'm glad we're getting to see more of Rico's smarts in all of this. Oh, oh, there's someone there. Oh! I wonder if it's one of the adventurers or something. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, corpse weeper. Oh, uh, so the body's already dead. Whoa. What a great start to the episode. Wow, that's crazy. Holy shit, those predatory creatures are fucking crazy. <laughs> Incinerator? Mmm, that's Liza's name, right? Fuck, oh my gosh. Oh, so both arms. Fuck, these creatures are fucking smart. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh, he could blast with that arm? Yes! Holy sh... Oh, that's what that blast was. Strain of the second layer. Oh, oh yeah, Rick is so cute. Arm blast. Oh, the incinerator. Oh wait, Liza's nickname was the Annihilator, right? <laughs> I was getting it confused. Oops, sorry. Aww. She's so positive about it and like accepting of him. Oh, does it drain him? Oh. Aww. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh. I admit, after encountering those creatures, I would have that type of nightmare too. Okay, at first her bright dreamer type of personality was giving me a certain impression about her. Like, oh man, you're not ready for this. But now it's a good supportive character to have in this situation. Oh, that looks so good. Meat on stone is... Oh, fuck. So good. Yeah, we're gonna eat after this episode. Mmm. That meat. 
Ah, oh, hearing their chew, it's like good ASMR. <laughs> Whoa, lowest area of depth in the second layer. Oh, how cute! Oh, oh, monkeys? Oh, those are creepy. Inbios? Oh! What? <gasps> There's other dwellers? Oh! <gasps> Who's this master? Oh! Onsen, right? Or o Osen? <gasps> oh, there it is. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う